Ellie Light was recent, and Paterico did a great, was also a lawyer, did a great thing on this. There was a letter that was sent to, I don't know, like 100, up, and it ran in about 90 some. And it all said the same thing, oh, Barack Obama's great, and you guys aren't giving him a chance, and this healthcare thing is great, it's that, whatever. And, you know, for all these journalists that will just, you know, really scrutinize you, why, why are you at this Tea Party movement? Who are you? Joe the plumber, let me get all your re records, this and that, whatever. Have you paid your child support? Are you really a plumber? You know, for all that kind of stuff, they couldn't seem to do even a basic Google search on this glowing report for Barack Obama's health care plan when everybody else pretty much hates it. Well, what it was was an astroturf method, and it was a, a uh, um, letter saying, hey, we love Barack Obama, and it went to the head of the class in 90 some on newspapers around the country. That's what you're dealing with. Axelrod and Obama hospital thing, organizing for America. We've gone over some of these things. Let's go to the next one. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's not fine. Another example of astroturfing, turfing, how they use them. Cool videos about this, Martha Coakley. So here you see all the signs look the same. It's kind of like a rental mob. You know, well, let's, let's, there's a protest going on. People are really upset about this. They want health care now. And so does this person, and that person does too. And the signs look all exactly the same. Okay, whereas here's real grassroots, tea parties. You know, I made my own sign this morning because I'm PO'd and I want my country back. Let's go to the next one. How to beat them. Never, never, never give in to their tactics. Okay. Don't waste your time with them. That is their goal. The more heat you get, the better job you're doing. If you were not like Barry Bonds says, whatever you think about Barry Bonds, they don't boo nobody's. Right? You know? Or I like to say, I love my haters. I bask in them. That means I'm doing something right. Don't play their game. Don't fall into their trap. Hey, this channel is supposed to be free speech. Why won't you approve my comment? Because you have all the mainstream media and you can put it on your own channel. And you know, like, like Fox News, oh, you're gonna become an arm of Fox News. And Fox News controls the Republican Party, or the Republican Party controls Fox News. We don't know what, okay, bro, you got CNN, MSNBC, ABC, PBS, NPR, uh, CBS, I mean, you got it all, bro. We have ours, okay? Let me watch Beth or O'Reilly or Hannity in peace. Do your thing, man. Just do, do, do your thing. If it wasn't effective, they wouldn't be bothering you. They're paid to do this. So when you hear those things, you're doing something right. Control your image. So I know, we got four minutes here. So I know some people are like, oh, you know, I'm a Republican, I can't do it, I got this and that, whatever. They're going to hit you. They're going to do it. You can either go back in your cave and, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Or you can say, you know what? Like there's a there's a video, and I haven't taken it down, I can take it down. There's a video, a fake video of me out there. John Miller will see cross -dresser. They tried everything. They tried everything. Yeah. They tried everything. Now, those that don't even know me, you see, I'm not really a wilty lily, right? I put my face on everything. I'm not easy, I'm not hard to see. So this video, you can't see the guy's face. He doesn't look anything like me. He's putting on this whole little thing. It's total fake. I haven't taken it down yet, even though I could get him to take it down. Why? Because I want to show him I'm not afraid. You do what you want, man. Like they nailed Jesus to a cross. I can handle a video. <laughs> right? 18,000 views. Fine. Whatever. The way you fight them, is that every day I got another video, another three videos, another appearance, whatever like that. Anyone with the brain can figure out who I am and who I'm not. You put out more, you flood the zone. They got pissed about this, you hit them with another one. Fight bad speech with more good speech. You keep fighting, keep making progress. Let's hit the last one here. God, he had it right. First they ignore you, then they make fun of you, then they fight you, then you've won. Let's go to the last one here. We have facts, they have lies and tactics. Do not cower, you've got to fight. They've got the glitz, the slogans, the ridicule, the intimidation, that's their weapon. But there's several little things called facts that they can't seem to avoid. Thus, anything close to parody on our side, in Hollywood, in the media, on the new media, and we will defeat them. So I'm not a pessimist, I'm an optimist. One more here. 
The answer, this is it. Be ready for full scale battle. Know yourself, smile, keep going when attacked. That's the wrong way you're going, right? Realize that their attacks mean you're winning, you're doing a great job. Learn their techniques to stop their tactics. Learn how to communicate the truth of the superiority of the conservative policies in an entertaining and compelling way. More, most importantly, never give up. I thank you for this part of the presentation. I want to turn it over to Congressman Tom Campbell, who's running for Senate. And we're so pleased to have him. Go Bears, go to the team, UC Berkeley Business School. I love that. Well, uh, nice presentation. I appreciate it. Thank you. My delight. I want to be sure I keep under the time limit. What time do I have? You have as much time as you Whatever want. Whatever you need. Ah, then. Yeah. 55 minutes. Wow! Oh. Uh, <laughs> and then there'll be an exam. Thank you for that tremendous presentation. I think another round of applause. <laughs> brought back some, uh, some unhappy memories, in, including when I was running in the special in 1995, you might remember. It's just after the Republicans had taken control. Norman had left Congress. There was a vacancy. I ran for that vacancy. And the National Democratic Congressional Committee targeted that race. It was the only off-season race that entire year. They sent their national team. They put money in. And they, they did a phony ad. Yeah. They had a picture of me and Newt Gingrich smiling, pointing to a sign that said, cut, cut Social Security. I remember that. And I remember that. It was incredible. They put it out, they sent it to seniors. Uh, totally false. Just I never I never have been photographed with New Gingrich in a photograph in front of a sign like that or any other way. Um, we won by 17 points. So you can you can handle this with the truth.